So, okay, guys, uh, this is really cool. Um, I was talking to Mark Kingsworth the other day as we were uh, chatting online, and I said, you know, we really need to figure out how to make this go faster. And so we came up with the idea of using a batch mode so we can render all of these out using different main seeds. Remember that we used main seeds to recreate complete different versions of the corridor uh, by just changing the main seed. So now we have a batch mode. We can say, give me from one to 50 and we can start the batch. And if when we do that, let's just go and take a look at that. So <clears throat> this is what we get, right? So we get, we can basically just walk through all of these different, all these different batches, right? So just, um, <laughs> it just renders out all these images. And if I find one I like, let's say I like this one right here, that's number 39. You can see right there, it's number 39. So I'll go back over here into Blender and I'm gonna say the main seed to 39 and I'll hit do it. And what we'll see now is it will actually render that exact same version of it using that seed number. And there we have it right there. So how cool is that? So batch is gonna allow us now to create as many different renders. We can let it run overnight and generate a thousand of them if we want to. And it'll generate many different permutations based on, on uh, the seed range that we give it. So that's pretty cool.